So in this video, we're going to see uh, two machines using branch cache sharing data. The first machine I kicked off a long time ago, and it's running a bits download in WinP10, and it's downloading data uh, into its cache. It's set to a bandwidth limit, so it's downloading with about, I think, one megabyte per second, so it's going quite slowly. And then I got my other machine here to the left that I'm going to kick off, and here I'll demonstrate, I'll show select the Windows 10 task sequence, which is linked to this media. And here, once the branch cache is then enabled, it will connect to the other machine and start pulling data off that one completely dynamic. And you'll see that the, the speed is gonna be much, much higher than the machine to the right. And that's why we're using the ignore limits on local LAN bits policy settings by default. So enabling branch cache here and download starting. And you can see if, if the figures down here that it's, it's uh, pulling data a lot quicker up to about 45 megabits per second, which is the default uh, speed that branch cache kind of operates in, in order to try not to bog down the machines that is pulling data, data from. And here's the IP that one of the machines that is pulling from. And if I go out my second machine here, um, type ipconfig and I'll show you that the IP address is actually matching. And once uh, we catch up with the first machine, you'll see something quite interesting is that it will automatically start backing off once we reached and pulled all the data off. Uh, so it's aware that it's pulling data from the other machine and that that machine is also slowly feeding data. So it won't try to get a, get a ahead of that machine it will just lump itself together as sort of a um, almost like a little crowd that they know that they are downloading in this file together so it's gonna hang out with its buddy and um, not try to get, be more aggressive and go across to get even more data and if that is a big concern like Windows 7 is not so good at this uh, you should you look at the uh, Stifler product that we're developing at the moment that will then ensure and you can also limit intra packages at the same time. But you can see it's kind of slowly getting data from the other machine, and uh, this kind of shows how you, you can do with Windows 10p. Thank you.